So, hands off the sticks. It's holding that glide fairly well, so now I'll do the same run and test the flap settings. With the flaps I've got them set for 25 and 50%. There's no compensation for the elevator, so uh, I just wanted to get a feel for how it reacted without any extra compensation. So now I've powered off, I'm just going to line it up in a straight line and let it glide. And flaps to 25. Hey! Wow! That just, that's seriously nosing down. It's acting as if it was an elevon. That's very dangerous. And it's because the trailing edge of the wing where the flaperons are, are so close to the elevator that they essentially do act as elevons themselves. I'm glad I didn't go straight to 50% then because it would have just nosed off straight into the ground and I may not have had enough elevator to do anything about it. So my elevator sticks about a third of the way back just to try to hold it up after I've put the flaperons on, but I've already lost somewhere between a third and half of my elevator control just to hold it there. Alright, I'm going to have a try at 50%. Nice and high this time, really high. And I'll be definitely ready with the, uh, the elevator. So here we go, nice and high, 50%. Whoa, it's diving down. I'm at almost three quarters elevator up, just to hold the nose level. This is very uncomfortable, having to hold the elevator so far back, just to keep it flat. Ah, the other thing with having so much flap on, is that you lose your um, aileron authority as well. I'm going to have to turn that off. 50% again. Oh, jeez, come up. Thank you. Oh, no, come up. Stay up. Oh, that's scary. Ah, oh, jeez. I've still got 50%. I'm not sure I, I want to do that again in a hurry. <laughs> I'm going to have one more run. 50%. Holding elevator almost all the way up. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. It's, um, I'm trying to wash off the speed with the 50% flutterons, but gee, it's still coming in quick. Okay. I don't have a lot of authority of the ailerons, so I'm a bit concerned being this slow. But I do want to test it out, so I'm going to leave it on 50%. I'm holding the elevator up a lot. It is slowing it down, I have to admit. It is slower. I'd still need plenty of space to land it. Because it's not not as slow as a glider, as I said. Okay, I'm flying it into a very gentle breeze. 25% flapper on. Trying to hold it nice and flat. Trying to see whether it's really slowed down much. And I think it has. I think it has slowed down a bit. Got the wobbles a little bit just because it's washed off so much speed and it doesn't like it. Still got plenty of aileron authority with only 25% flapperons. Alright, it's over the trees again now. I'm just going to let it drop. And then watch it glide in. Come on, flapperons, do your job. Slow it down. Slow it down. Oh, it's coming in quick. Oh! Get down. He still needed the whole of the other field and this one to land. That's crazy. 30% flaperons, and I'm just going to glide it in again and see what sort of... Whoa, don't go into the tree. I'm still having to hold up, ele uh, up elevons. Or VTAL, sorry. Alright, turn. Oh gee, that was, it's still quite fast at the moment. Still got 30% flaps on. Um, you can see until you power ooh, until you power down, it does hold a fair bit of speed. Try to level the wings. Look at that. So it's possible as long as you don't put a lot of weight in it to uh, circle it in overfield and bring it in for a landing. But you have to get your CG and your elevator settings perfect because the last thing you want is if it's slightly tail heavy for it to suddenly nose up. Yeah, that's pretty flat, happy with that.
Okay, so back to flapper on testing. Now that I have a plane that glides okay, so comparison speed without flaps. It's coming down, but certainly needed the whole field to uh, to bring it down. Without flapper on still, I'm just going to do a bit of zigzagging at the end to make sure that I get a feel for what it's like without flaps. Don't hit the tree. Bit of zigzagging. Still need to keep the nose flat or down just to keep your speed up. Oh, that's getting a bit. Look, yeah, I could land that quite easily. So this is with no flaps. Um, again, I guess reminding you that this thing is very light. All up weight at the moment is less than 1.2 kilos with the 500, uh, 5,000 milliamp battery. That was close. Things you wouldn't do if you had all your gear on board. Just have to be careful to keep the speed up through the turns. If you nose it up through a turn, you're asking for a lot of trouble. So just have to keep the nose flat or slightly down. That's coming in pretty quick, but as you can see, it's washing off speed, washing off speed, and you could just let it settle. All right, 30% flaps are on, and let's see what difference it makes. Power it off. Oh, still nosing down, so I'm going to have to hold the elevator up a bit. So I probably need to go to at least 25%. Now, because I am holding up elevator, I'm a bit nervous about low-level low manoeuvring because it means I've already lost <laughs> a bit of authority on both the ailerons and the elevators, mixing in all these things. All right, so with 30% flaps, still trying to keep the nose flat for landing. That's not too bad. You could have landed that. Ooh. The ailerons are a lot more sluggish with 30% of the flapperons enabled. It's uh, taking a lot longer to turn, so I'm going to have to be really careful here. Okay. So yeah, you could just let that settle in for a landing quite easily. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Sure that wasn't good for it. <laughs> Touch and go with a heat talon. There you go. Has anyone done that before? Now the wind's picking up a bit behind me now, so if I want it to face into the wind, I've just got to fly it straight into... Whoa, not much aileron. Fly it straight into myself like I am. There you go. Nice and easy landing. Less bouncy than usual. And that was with 30% flapperons. It does help, but I really don't like the how sluggish it makes all the control surfaces. Oh, stalling it. Oh, gee, that was close. I saw it tail drop suddenly, and I knew it was just about to go into a stall. Got to watch for those. All right, I'm going to turn flaperons off, get a bit of height, and try the 60% flaperons that I had set. Um, let's just see what that's like. 60% now, with 45% of up elevator. It is nosing down a bit, so I probably needed about 50% of up elevator to mix it in. Okay, so with 60% flaps, turning it back into the wind, being mindful that I've lost a bit of authority over the ailerons. Oh, still going to hit the fence there. Probably needed just to zigzag a bit more at the end, carefully. Just trying to bring it around the boundary of the field using all the space that I've got without, and landing it without <laughs> bumping into a fence at the end. Still threatening to stall a bit, so maybe I need to just put a touch of down, down elevator in now. Okay, I'm just going to try to use the whole perimeter of the fence, bring it in. Ailerons are really mushy at the moment because 
the flaperons are at 60%, so I'm using more than half of the ailerons just to do the flaps. That wasn't too bad, so just to turn in, wash off the speed there, let it settle in, and just cruise it in. So this is with 60% flaperons. Gentle turns, try not to let it stall. Settling into the wind a bit. Definitely running in slower than it was. That's a good thing. Just trying to settle it in for a landing. Into the wind. Oh, bump. So I think what I've shown here is that if you're daring enough to zigzag at low level, very careful not to stall it, you can land it with or without flaps, flapperons, whatever you decide to try. Um, how that works when you've got another 400 grams worth of FPV kit, I really can't tell you. I don't know what this thing would feel like and how fast it would actually be floating in. I'm going to try doing exactly what I was doing before, but with no flaps, low level zigzagging, and see whether I somehow was imagining that it was much faster. Don't want to do this with a tailwind, so I'm just going to bring it around, almost hit the pole and almost hit the ground. Yeah, it still floats in. You just need a bit more space. This is with a much stronger wind now though. It's coming into a headwind and slowing it right down. Back to 30% flapperons. Bring it around back to the wind. Just gonna zigzag it a little bit. I'm getting good at this. I was just trying something different there. Powering it through a low level turn so you wouldn't stall it. And then just letting it settle down for a landing. And that actually worked. So I'm going to do a few more. This is still with 30% flapper ons, but you could probably do the same without any flaps at all because that's promising. So what I was thinking is just kicking power on slightly to make sure it doesn't stall. Oh, it's getting really gusty now actually. This plane's starting to react badly. Might need to bring it down and uh, call it a day soon. Alright, so it's just letting it... Oh, nosing down too much. Yep, I lost too much speed coming back into the wind. Just right on this little bend in the servo tracks, um, and the wing, I hope you can see it, is sitting either exactly flat or very slightly leaning forward, um, and that's flying really well for me with trims almost at neutral.